What's going on? It's BRTV coming to you live from the Georgia World Congress Center for the 2009 Atlanta Boat Show. Brett and Brandon here with you. What's going on, buddy? Uh, not much. We're uh, out here at the Atlanta Boat Show, and we're going to try and check out some of these new boats they have on the economy boat line is what they're calling it. Uh, I guess it's affordable in our economy for just the everyday American, so we want to go ahead and get some interviews and find out more about their boats. That's right. We're going to go in there, check out the fancy boats, the uh, not-so-fancy boats, the pontoon boats, the racing boats, uh, all kinds of stuff in here. So we're going to go see what we can find and uh, stay with us here at the Atlanta Boat Show 2009. All right, we're hanging out over here uh, with Boating Atlanta. This is Ryan, and uh, Ryan, I heard you won $100,000 on Lake Lanier. Why don't you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, we had the Bass uh, Bassmaster Tour Series come here back last year, and uh, 200 guys fished out for a three-day period for $100,000 first place. Wow, wow, way to go. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about Boating Atlanta? Uh, Boating Atlanta is Atlanta's biggest Triton dealer. Uh, we deal in Triton boats, uh, bass boats. We deal with the uh, Sea Hunt. Uh, runabouts as, as well as mosquito bass boats. What, what's your favorite fish uh, to fish for? Uh, I basically fish for bass and I do that you know professionally so I fish uh, as a guide every day as well as I tournament fish and uh, I fish out of a boat just like this 21 HP and uh, this boat is 21 feet long 250 horse motor and it's uh, it's just very well decked out for, for bass fishing. Uh, you can do other stuff out of it but just the setup and design of this boat is perfect for uh, bass fishing. So coming from uh, one of the pros here, what would uh, what's some of your uh, tricks to the trade as far as uh, fishing out there? Well, Lake Lanier, you know, I fish there about 250 days a year, and okay. it's a very clear water lake, and we do a lot of deep water fishing there. It's an electronics kind of thing where we're actually fishing with our electronics more than visually looking at the fish, and uh, having the right setup on the boat and things set up is, is essential. Oh, cool. Well, sounds good. Uh, you guys have a great rest of the weekend here at the boat show, and thank we you. thank you for your time. Thank you very much. All right, we're going to send it back over to Brett, who's hanging out with our good buddy Toby. Uh, Brett here. I'm with uh, Toby sitting here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're doing here at the boat show? Yeah, I'm Toby Hicks. I run fishing tournaments for American Bass Anglers. We've been in business since the mid-70s. We have over 500 tournaments a month and in 38 states and we draw a good crowd. Yep. There's a lot of, there's some money there. The, most of the young, we are the stepping stone for the elite anglers okay so you started it and you're bringing up a younger generation yeah, now we are we are bringing up the younger generation okay and uh usually with these tournaments how many how, how big are the turnouts for the majority of these tournaments uh around 20 25 boats it's guaranteed boat use you know mm -hmm. and we like to see the young fellas without the boats some of us real conscientious about teaching the kids the young ones you know, some of the trades, secret, but not all of them. <laughs> we got to reserve some for ourselves. Exactly. You got you got a legacy to preserve. That's right. All right, Brett here. I'm with uh, Scott with Wahoo Docks, and uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about your product? Hey, Brett. Um, Wahoo Docks is an aluminum dock, dock manufacturer. We've been manufacturing aluminum docks for over you know, the last 10 years, and it is just truly a great residential dock product. Mm -hmm. How long would it take to put one of these up? The dock you're looking at here is the Wahoo Cat 5. You know, typically about a three to four day install at your site from the time we get it out of the plant. Okay, and you do a lot of these installations in the southeast and stuff all over just or all over the country? We do. Wahoo Docks is actually a national manufacturer. We've got a hundred dealers nationwide. So we've got people in your communities if you're looking for a dock. Okay, and how much will one of these run you, just like a, a basic model? You know, basic models will start probably around ten to 15,000 and can go up from there depending on what you'd like. Okay, and it, you, could, you can make it a very exquisite one, like a tree house, kind of fort kind of situation? You can. Everything we do is custom, so, you know, if you can dream it, uh, we can build it. Okay, well, it sounds like you have a great product, and I appreciate you giving us your time. All right, so so is this uh, this is more for the, the amateur fisher that likes to actually fish, and yeah, it's not about the money. It's competition. Yes, we give away 
some fully rigged Triton boats at the Nationals. You know, we go have a good banquet, a lot of camaraderie there, and a lot of, this is the old military bass anglers. An old retired Army colonel formed this thing, and they still have a grand opening in the morning, the flag ceremonies and everything, which is a sight to behold if you've never seen it on the water. It's pretty good. All right, it's Brandon here with you. We're hanging out over here with the Crazy Chicken Racing Team. Uh, we're here with Dee, the driver. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the boat you got here? Okay, well, first off, Brandon, it's good to meet you and your guys. Uh, the name of our team is Crazy Chicken. We're based out of actually Atlanta, Georgia, and we race everywhere from Miami Beach, Fort Lauderdale, to New York City. We're Detroit this year, Sarasota, and then we always end up in Key West for the Worlds. Everybody in the world is invited to Key West. Uh, world champions determine three races that whole week, and the best of the three races determines your world champ. Let's see, luckily we've won the Worlds three times, and we've been national champ once. We, uh, have a real good crew there's five of us and everybody really works hard and we try to give everybody a smile and get our job done with some racing too any big race coming up anytime soon actually the first race is usually miami beach florida okay. that's usually about the middle of april and so that'll be our first one then after that it should be fort lauderdale so that's the first two then i believe after that marathon it's about to race every three weeks okay cool well uh, thanks a lot for your time and good luck to you thank in the you. upcoming races thank you appreciate right. everything take care thank you all right, I'm Brett here, and I'm here with Scott, and you are the driver of this boat? Actually, there's two pilots of the boat. There's a throttle man and a driver. I throttle the boat, which means I make the boat go fast. Okay, so this is a this is a pretty powerful looking machine. So can you tell me a little bit about it, what, what, what it comes with? Sure, it's a 50-foot boat, and it's powered by twin Lycoming T-55 gas turbine engines out of a Chinook helicopter at total 6,000 horsepower. So she moves along. And what what was the what would be the, like the top speed on something like this? We've taken this boat up to 213 miles an hour with uh, more throttle left. God, that that is very impressive. And and how does it feel when you're driving something that fast? It feels like you're uh, taking off in a jetliner, but hopefully we don't take off. That wouldn't yeah. be good. You don't fly away. No. All right. Well, thank you very much for the interview. And uh, hopefully, maybe one day I'll get to climb in one of these things. But I doubt it. So <laughs> hey, all right. Y'all have a good one. Thank you. So this is a, this is a basically just a true American setting. This is a, a guys out there doing what they do best. Yes, we we have a good time, you know, and enjoying the camaraderie. They've got the uh, weekend series we run for bass, which is a little step up from the fishing uh, circuit, you know. And we do some uh, pro am trails. We do a couple trails and. Uh, we also run the military bass anglers, bass circuit. It's strictly military. It, it's a fun tournament. It's a team event. It is a joy to fish that thing. You meet all your old friends and just the camaraderie you can have there fishing with your friends. What's up, BRTV Nation? Brett here, and I'm with uh, Mickey, and he uh, works for Browns Bridge Dock Company. And uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about your product? Uh, what we do here is we build and manufacture boat docks and marinas uh, all across the country and uh, we do use primarily a hot dip galvanized steel structure. Uh, this dock we're on actually has Brazilian hardwood e-pay. Uh, we do manufacture all of our own products uh, and like I said we do work uh, everywhere from Texas uh, you know back here to the East Coast and uh, been doing it a little over 45 years now. What's uh, the difference between having the uh, the natural wood as opposed to the aluminum? What's the advantage of having? Hey, you know, having the natural lumber is obviously, number one, aesthetically more pleasing. Um, you know, the biggest problems with aluminum is it is a very soft material. And in a marine environment with all the flexing that you have, the stainless steel fasteners are more dense than the aluminum. So it will wear on the aluminum decking and it will loosen up and you'll have wearing over time. Uh, in the boat show, we actually, uh, it takes us about three days to put it up here. In the real world out on the lake, it, it's about a five day installation. Okay. okay, and what would something like this cost? Where would it run you? Uh, this particular dock here, we're selling for $26,000 here at the boat show. And that's good, and that's good for natural wood. I mean, that's that's the that's yep. a good product. Yeah, this, this product here with the ePay is the most dense and right now the number one decking board in the world. And uh, it is it does come out of Brazil, it is all natural. And we've actually oiled this here just for a little better aesthetics. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, I appreciate your time and uh, good luck here at the boat show. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Well, it does. It does sound like a good time, and hopefully, people will uh, check out your site, and uh, hopefully, yeah. start more people will get involved in these tournaments. We hope so. Well, that's the name of the game, you know. Get us involved. Get the younger generations, because I'm not going to be here. I hope a long time. Well, I do too. You know, well, we're, we're trying. Uh, sometimes I listen to my doctor, not often, but you Dick. know, the man made two thirds more water than he did land. I think he's telling me I ought to fish more. I think you should too. <laughs> well, I appreciate the interview, <laughs> sir, and you have a wonderful afternoon, and we'll uh, we'll we'll talk with you soon. All right, then. Thank y'all. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. All right, that does it for BRTV's coverage of the 2009 Atlanta Boat Show. We had a great time uh, out there, didn't we? Uh, we sure did. We sure did. Uh, one of my favorite parts, actually, that we actually didn't get on camera, I wish we had, was the, the motorboating. It was my favorite part. You old motorboater, you. <laughs> <coughs> All right, well, that does it. This is BRTV, Atlanta Boat Show 2009. Catch you later. All right, we're here at the boat show. We're walking around uh, trying to talk to some people. Um, see if we can get, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am? Hey, how are you? Uh, what do you think about this boat here? I like turtles. What about squirrels? I hate squirrels. Okay. <laughs>